Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video on SAO Fatal Bullet. My name is Vitis SGN. I hope you guys are having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start to finish craft the Arphasis suit M and F. I'm going to take you around to all the spots where the materials can be found and show you how to put it all together. Let's get right into it. Alright, so there's literally no difference in the materials that you're going to need to craft this suit for male and female, but you are going to need to find three of them. And you probably already have them in your inventory, or if you're just starting the game, you might be lacking on one. So you probably already have the normal cloth and the tough shell because you get those pretty early off in the game. However, you may not have the flexible worm skin, and that's going to be the one that's going to be the challenge to get if you are just starting the game. Alright, so first to get the normal cloth, if you go to the remnant wasteland and find any human there now this is a good spot for the humans for me this is where they spawn in at the normal player characters you fight them kill them anytime you pretty much so far i've seen that you kill a player character they're going to drop normal cloth now there may be something in later on in the game where they maybe drop some extra type of cloth that's not normal maybe fine cloth or something like that but for the most part in these little beginner areas these characters do drop normal cloth all right so that's where you get the normal cloth from the tough shell it's going to be a little bit more tricky, especially if you're just starting. You're going to have to find the Wandering Lurker, or the Wandering Insect. And this is where he's at right here. This is his location in the Remnant Wastelands. He's right over here. He's a giant scorpion creature. He's got uh, a lot of hit points, and you're going to know him as soon as you see him. Here he is right here. You may have to kill him a bunch of times before you get the amount that you need. And uh, if you want him to respawn, basically just leave the area and then come back. Like, actually leave the Remnant Wastelands and then come back. Or you can grind a little bit and wait for him to respawn because he takes like five minutes to respawn. But uh, yeah, definitely once you kill him, he's going to drop the tough shell. I think he's the only one so far that I've seen that drops a tough shell. I don't know, if there's something else that drops tough shell, let me know that down in the comments below. But for the most part, this is how I've got the tough shell. Now, for the flexible worm skin, you're going to have to travel all the way to the solitary sands the solitary sands is where you're gonna have to and if you've just started the game and you haven't unlocked this area basically just play through the story mode a little bit and you're gonna lock it. it's the next area that you go to after the remnant wastelands so after you go to the solitary sands make your way over to the worm nest and don't worry the worms may look giant and scary but it's okay you do not have to kill like the gigantic worm monster that's there all you have to do is kill his little babies and you can leave and come back and wait for them to respawn or you can go ahead and take out all three health bars of the giant worm daddy and get his uh, flexible worm skin too. I think he drops flexible worm skin. He drops like uh, some other weapons and stuff like that. So it will be kind of worth your while to kill him. But if your goal is just to get the flexible worm skin, all you have to do is kill his little babies and they will drop the flexible worm skin. Now, you may have to go back and fight them multiple times to get enough flexible worm skin. What I suggest is stocking up on the flexible worm skin because you never know when you're going to need more of that stuff later on. I mean, it's pretty easy to go and kill these little worm creatures. All right, so once you have all of these materials, the flexible worm skin and the normal cloth and then the tough shell, that is when you head all the way back to Asuna in Kirito's room. And once you get back there, go and talk to Asuna, and she's going to be like, oh, you want me to craft the suit for you? And you'd be like, yeah, go ahead and craft me the Arphasis suit. Now, if you have a female android, you're probably already going to have the Arphasis suit female, so you don't really need it. But if you have a male android, or vice versa, whatever, you probably want to make the Arphasis suit for yourself. I think it actually looks really dope. And later on, when you get to change the color on it, it looks really, really fire. All right, so that is it. I hope this was able to help you. If there's anything else you want to see, let me know that down in the comments below. And if it's in my ability so far, I will help you out with that. Maybe let you know that down in the comments or make a video on it. Uh, so definitely let me know your suggestions and questions down in the comments. Um, if this video was a help for you, do me a huge, huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. Don't leave without leaving a like. And don't leave without turning the notifications on. Because those notifications really do help the channel grow because it lets you know when I upload a video next. All right, well, that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys continue to have a great day, and I will see you on the next video. Peace out.
Who that?